got a duck. We got a frog. Looks like my AirPods are dying. All right. Cool, cool. Do do do. Uh, are we are we live? On. YouTube realm. How you doing? How's it going? It's uh, it's your pal West from Perfect Circuit, and today we are playing around on uh, live stream stuff. We're we're just messing around. We're having some fun. We're getting ready for the Make Noise live stream next week, which is going to be seven days from now. So make sure to mark your calendars. And in the meantime, we're taking a look at the. Uh, herbs and stones liquid foam here this is one of my favorite little uh acid groove boxes on the market uh but we're gonna talk about it because this guy's a little weird here and uh it doesn't really work like how you would think traditional acid synthesizers and sequencers work so uh let's 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 talk about it a little bit let's make some weird acid stones liquid foam here uh, you will notice that there are not a lot of uh, controls for inputting, you know, note or rhythmic values here. Instead, we've got two quirky little sequencers. We've got sequencer A right here and sequencer B. And they're both linked to this master clock up here, but in slightly different ways. So if we turn the master clock up, you'll see that sequencer A just starts spinning faster and faster. And that's because it is linked directly to the clock. So what it's going to do is, is that every time the clock pulse goes, it's going to, you know, advance in a uh, clockwise manner, just, just like that. And that's pretty easy, right? It, it just goes around and it's fun. It's cool. Uh, but what does it put out, Wes? Um, that's a great question, Wes. It actually puts out 5-volt gates. Everything on this synthesizer is going to put out 5-volt gates. Um, and so combining them in different ways is what's going to generate our cool patterns here. So this guy, linked to the clock, spinning around like a clown. We love it. Um, and it's easy, right? X and Y are the little modifiers for sequencer A. And what it can do is, is it can change the rotational direction of the sequencer here. So if we put this in here, or more like, uh, like here, what it'll start to do is, is kind of like skip around and change the direction that the sequencer is going for just a moment in time. And if we start to stack that type of behavior, we can get really bizarre not clockwise patterns here and that's pretty cool and that's what's going on with sequencer a now sequencer b is just a little bit different it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a different deal going on here so sequencer b is linked to this 
really handy dandy LFO here. And it's a rectangle wave LFO, so you can kind of set, you know, how long the pulse width is. And this feeds directly into sequencer B. And depending on the pulse width and the available voltage of the LFO, when the clock pulse goes, it kind of cascadingly sends the gates through in a counterclockwise fashion, which is... Uh, also kind of nifty. So both of our sequencers here linked to the clock, but in slightly different ways. They're all outputting five volt gates here. How, uh, how are we gonna turn this into kooky, fun acid sounds? Well, with a little bit of uh, playful patching here, we can go into A, B, or C, and then I'm gonna cut my mic off here so I'll explain what's going on before we do that. But uh, A, B, and C are our gate inputs, okay? So we can take any of the gates coming out of these sequencers and combine them into A, B, and C. And we can get different intensities of gate, different lengths, and different combinations of, uh, you know, lengths and, and intensities, if, if you will. And those different combinations are going to generate different notes of different lengths and melodies. So, for example, if you were to, you know, patch uh, A in and B in and C here, let's just, uh, let's just do this all. Boop, 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 boop. When A gets a gate, that's one note, right? Cool. When B gets a gate, that's a different note. When A and B together get a gate, well, that's a third note altogether. Um, and so on and so forth. And what you end up generating here is uh, some stuff that sounds like this. It's... And, and that's pretty fun and cool and good and all, but it's it's incredibly just like a straight pattern. It's, it's, you know, it's a little boring. It'll get old after a while. So the real joy of the liquid foam here is starting to get both of these sequencers kind of playing off of each other. You hear that? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, and as you can see, really quickly there, we got some super fast, fun acid patterns, and they are going to just continually generate new and different patterns um, because, you know, we've kind of got a little bit of a weird sort of patch going on here and the LFO is going to introduce randomness every little here and there with how sequencer B is acting and these X and Y which are triggered from sequencer B are going to add to that kind of kooky randomness there. So that's kind of the basis of how the liquid foam will start to generate patterns and make cool acid sounds but that's probably not the coolest part about it because what I think is the coolest part about it is that you can just continually start to build things on top of each other and you never have to stop. I'm going to start jamming here in a few minutes after we cover a few more things, but you'll notice that I never fully unpatch anything when I'm playing with the liquid foam. I'll just change the order of gates and what's going on, you know, just mix things up you know, change things around, and you'll instantly generate a new and fun acid rhythm, acid pattern there, and it never, it never stops. The music never stops going. It never stops generating stuff. You might land on something that you we do that. Let's talk about a few more things um, that the liquid foam's got going on here. Most of is is I like to treat it mm, kind of like an accent. It inverts the shape of the envelope, so think if we've got an envelope going like this and it's a decay-only envelope, you know, it's going to go like, pew, you know, it's just going to really quickly decay. Um, and so inverting it will give that kind of a quick attack and then no decay. 
Um, and this offset here says how much of that inverted wacky voltage hits this frequency uh, modifier here. So let's kind of show that in action here. So if I put the frequency all the way down like that, We can start to get these kind of more like accent style patterns. Uh, the other thing that the envelope generators got going on is this EG to VCO uh, jack down here, which will obviously, and well, <laughs> it shoots the envelope generator into the VCO, but it does something else that's kind of interesting. It cuts off all of the voltage going into our A, B, and C input jacks here. So it takes away all melody information that you might be generating and instead shoots the envelope into the VCO. So you can use this to get really cool sort of uh, like slidey patterns or even to kind of just like cut everything out of what's going on on your liquid foam to make room for like kicks or other instruments. Uh, it's just kind of a handy little utility down there. And then the last few things we need to talk about on the liquid foam since we spent so much time talking about how to generate wacky patterns is let's talk about the actual sound of the device and how it how it makes uh, different different waveforms here. So we've got a pitch knob right here in the middle and then we've got two sets of wave wave mixers here is what we've got going on. So I'm going to turn this on and what we will see is, is on the far left of our, get out of here cable, what are you doing? Um, on the far left here, our wave is going to be a triangle wave. Do you see this cable? Just, just get, stay down there. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so on the far left, this, uh, this wave is going to be a triangle wave and it's going to sort of mix all the way over to saw wave here. So let's take a listen to that. Right, so we got, you know, saw wave over here, triangle wave over here, right? And then this second wave mixing stage mixes from whatever is your wave at this first stage and then a sort of rectangle wave with width over here. As you can hear there. So you can access a really interesting set of like very kind of in between waves. Bun on a bun right there. Okay, so what? So that's our oscillator section right there. And then we've got this frequency knob, which is just naturally controlling our really gross acid filter. Let's turn that off. wonderful drive up here which is uh which is just gonna just drive your signal to all hot hell. So yeah, I could definitely listen to those acid sounds like all stankin' day, but that is pretty much everything that you've got going on with the liquid foam here. It's a wonderfully amazing little acid box. I absolutely love it. Um, it's available as a 
standalone device like you see before you here. It's also available, available as a uh, Eurorack module that's got a couple extra inputs and a couple extra outputs, and it's absolutely fun on a bun as a Eurorack module. And if neither of those things appeal to you, it's also a DIY project that's pretty well documented. So you can, you know... You can head on over to the internet and, you know, check out some schematics. And if you know what to do with them, you can build one of these for yourself. Um, you know, you do whatever you want. So, yeah. Uh, do we have any questions in the comments? Or any, any, any thoughts, thoughts, questions, concerns, Friday feels, you know, things of that nature? Or should I just start making horrible noises? Because I can do both. without a good jam so we're gonna start to Yeah. <laughs> 
Wonderful. Okay, so we had a fun time here. We talked about the liquid foam, and you know what? We tested out some fun streaming stuff. So I hope you all had a fun time. Leave us some suggestions for what types of things you'd like to see on a Perfect Circuit TV, and uh, you know what? We'll get around to it. We'll uh, we'll play around with some ideas, and uh, maybe we'll have some friends come through here. Maybe we'll you know have a little bit more organized of a jam. Um, but yeah, we hope that y'all have a great rest of your weekend and make sure you check out some of our synth sale that is going till Sunday. It's our summer synth sale. So get on it and, uh, we'll catch you next time. Stay sassy and synthy and, and just, just stay happy, smiling. Cool. <laughs>